you so much for coming out on this uh, not rainy afternoon. Um, hopefully it'll hold off for us to have a great uh, ceremony to start with. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Susan Baptist. I am the Director of Recreation Services for the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. On behalf of the City of Jacksonville, the staff members of the City and Department, we are so thrilled to be able to do this today. We are absolutely ecstatic at the wonderful field we have behind us, the grounds that we're on here at Jack Amiette, and we're just so uh, excited to be able to start the season off right and have a wonderful uh, season um, in, in front of us. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This American pastime would not be possible without the collaborative <coughs> efforts. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, without the collaborative efforts of the Onslow Onslow County Board of Education. The land historically has belonged to the Board of Education, which was generously transferred to the property of the city uh, so that the project could be completed. So thank you to the Board of Education, uh, the principal, Ms. Lori Howard, and everybody that had hand in and allowing us to complete this beautiful project, which you'll hear more about here in just a minute. Um, again, thank you for being here for our first pitch. To get us started, I'd like to call upon Reverend Re Richard Sheets, pastor of United Christian Life Ministries, followed by the national anthem by these beautiful kids here in front from Clyde Irwin Chorus. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this event right now, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask that you allow us to to do to your will here, Lord, and, and that the games will be played, Lord, and played with friendship and fellowship, Lord, in mind. Lord, we ask that you continue to lead us and guide us in the direction that you will have us to go, Lord, and I, I ask that you continue to bless the kids, every child that in this community, every child that play on this field, every grown-up, Lord, that we may be able to represent you. In your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. A great job they did let's give them another hand thank you so much thank you pastor sheets for for that wonderful invocation that was beautiful and the, the kids are fabulous as well I want to acknowledge the Jacksonville City Council members here this evening uh, as a note mayor pro tem Michael Lazara is performing other duties as part of city business and is unable to attend so he does send his uh, regrets uh, present here today, we're pleased to have Council Member Jerry Bittner, Council Member Randy Thomas, Council Member Bob Warden, and Council Member Angela Washington. Thank you all so much. I'd also like to acknowledge members of the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee. We have Chairman Bill Ross and Steve Hinkle. 
And as I've already alluded to, this project was uh, paramount with the help of the Onzo, uh, Onzo County School Board. We have Pam Thomas, <laughs> Earl Taylor, and Bob Warden. Williams, I'm sorry, Bob Williams, sorry about that. And we are also extremely excited to have Principal Lori Howard and her staff and the students here from Clyde Irwin. You guys are doing fantastic. And of course, Reverend Sheets um, and also the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Hall of Fame member, Chad Fonville. So thank you so much for being here today. Uh, now I'm going to hand it over to the mayor of, mayor of Jacksonville, Sammy Phillips. What uh, I had never stepped out on a big league ball field before, but this is pretty close to it, isn't it, Chad? <laughs> Compared to what we've seen here in the past, uh, I played on this ball field the first time when I was about eight years old, uh, and it's uh, changed. It, it really looks pretty. Infield grass, that's something that's going to take some getting used to here at Jack Amiet. But I want to welcome, uh, welcome you to this thoroughly changed site. Uh, welcome to this commitment of the city of Jacksonville to the New River area and its residents, and welcome to this commitment of our city for high quality recreation facilities, and welcome to this demonstration this, that this city cares about the quality of life of its citizens. You've heard the word commitment used already this afternoon. This project and the work done here is part of the commitment of the city uh, to recreation and to this area. These improvements on display now are not the first that have been made here. Uh, over time, the city has worked to improve Jack Amiet Recreation Center, which was the first home to the city's recreation and parks program. And while some improvements were late in coming, the spirit of demonstrating support for the neighborhood for recreation and for this area has been very significant. New River, as the first major housing area in the, in the development of Jacksonville, has been important. New River as a, com a major commercial center for Jacksonville has diminished, but the luster of a vibrant retail economy once was centered only a few hundred uh, feet from this location. The New River area remains important to your city leaders. I believe that we should consider supporting efforts, programs, and activities that will help make this is a prominent place in our city. Your city is currently reviewing the future of this area, and I'm proud this asset will be a great and shining example of things done right. As a matter of fact, when the council leaves here uh, this afternoon, we're going to go and talk about that very thing, and that's the revitalization and uh, future plans for the New River area. Your city, uh, among the other things done right, has been our exceptional recreation programs for both leisure and athletics. Your city has offered high quality programs that strengthen our youth, develop team experiences, and expand their horizons. And while praising the program side of the house, let us give appreciation for this wonderful landscaping and high quality grounds done by the Parks Division. And again, and like I said, they did a great job. Uh, it's just I just can't get used to the infield grass. I played third base for the softball in the, in the men's league, and many times took a bad hop at third base and, and caught them in the face and all. And it, it's uh, it's going to be a little bit better experience for those who have followed us to play on this field. And, and uh, again, like I said, I'm just uh, I'm just carried away about how how well this look looks and how great a job our recreations and parks department did on this. However, none of this would have been possible without the courage of your city leaders, your city council, uh, for making that, uh, that faith or, or exhibiting that faith in this community and, and stepping out front and doing what we feel is important for the quality of life in this neighborhood. Uh, your city council members decided that these improvements were important here. And your city council members decided that the high quality recreation programs are important and that the clean and green efforts are also important. Therefore, on behalf of the city of uh, council and the city, we welcome you to this wonderful ball field to, uh, to the renovated Jack Amiette area 
and to be with us here in New River today. Thank you all for coming out. Look at that, the sun is shining. How fabulous. Um, as the mayor indicated, these latest improvements are but some of the commitments made here in New River. To give some of the background to the project, I introduced Director of Park Facilities, Michael LaCory, to fill you in on some of that. Thank you, Susan, and I'll try and quickly give you a timeline of events that ultimately led us here today, and ultimately, we would not be here today without the great commitment, leadership, and vision of our mayor and city council, and we all thank you for that. Uh, moving on to a timeline, back in 2009, what we noticed was the front of the Jack Amiette Recreation Center, the facade was failing. Matter of fact, so bad that we had to close the recreation center down for a couple of months. Uh, working with our engineering department and with facility maintenance staff within the city, and then with our community development department, we were able to establish funds that was able to restore the front of the building to how it looks today. And then in 2010, we again worked with our friends in community development. We identified a need on our playground to add a new playground facility with a rubberized surface, a new picnic shelter, picnic tables, great additions to the park. In 2012, we were able to demolish some existing buildings uh, which sat right on the frontage of Eastwood Drive. They were old and outdated and we were able to take those out. And as soon as we got that finished, we added what you see now over there, two outdoor basketball courts that are lighted. A great addition to our community again. We then did some surveys of the property and how best to move forward. And we, uh, we along uh, the Parks Division, along with the Streets Department, demolished what was formerly the basketball courts, which were old and dilapidated. Some of us remember those basketball courts as originally being tennis courts in the early 70s. Along that time, we realized we had a nice parking lot, but it wasn't very user friendly. And more importantly, it wasn't very vehicle friendly. So we made plans and we started making changes to the parking lot. And while that was being done, we wanted to bring Jack Amiette ball field back to life. In our community right now, in our park system, we don't really have a ball field that suits an age group that is 13 and above, that are the proper field distances. And what we were able to do was to work with, again, our engineering department uh, hand in hand and design a ball field here that you see today that is of high school regulation. And you can see, as, as the mayor has said, grass infield, Bermuda grass, warning tracks to let the players know there are fences near, professional lighting, irrigation, all those things were completed within the last eight months. While that was being done, again, the parking lot became the focus, and that was finished in late December of 2014. And then just recently, hopefully you've noticed the landscaping that was, a, was added, as well as the, uh, the beautiful wall we added over there. And, and I have to give special thanks to the Parks Division led by our horticulturalist, Jason Smith, and designing and installing all the landscaping you see out here and a great cost savings to the city and, and a great job done by the Parks Division in completing that task. We then were able to bring the end of the parking lot on board and have the parking lot seal coated and restriped. And you can see we have what looks to be a new parking lot out there, well striped for our public to utilize. And we can see, look at, look at, look at how many cars are here. That's great. In all, the cost and scope of getting us where we are today for the improvements, they're very impressive. And we want to thank the mayor and council for that support and helping advance the quality of life in the city of Jacksonville. This field's gonna be used for our youth, even our adults. It'll be available for them to use it as we move forward 
hopefully for the next 50 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. I couldn't emphasize enough on how much of a great job uh, the parks crew and the landscape crew has done. The landscaping is absolutely phenomenal, short of an expert GIS job. They are just a phenomenal uh, group of folks to have. The city's uh, extremely fortunate to have such caliber with us. Okay, so it is now time to show you how this field can get used. Anybody ready for that? Yeah, very good. Okay, so to throw out the first pitch, I want to introduce a member of the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Hall of Fame, a local who practiced and played on this and other fields here in Jacksonville. He participates in our athletic programs and was an outstanding high school athlete at White Oak, uh, White Oak High School. He attended Lewisburg College and made his major league baseball debut with the Montreal Expos 20 years ago this month. I'd like to welcome to the mound to throw out our honorary first pitch, Chad E. Fonville. Got it. Hold that stuff. Am I good over here? We're just going to look a little bit farther for you folks over there. So um, I'd also like to give a commemorative uh, ball. Matt has some really neat commemorative balls for uh, the mayor and council. So he's going to pass those out. Or if anybody wants to try, he can throw them to you right where you're sitting. You want to try and toss them to him? Put Matt on the spot. OK, so. We're going to hear another great selection from the Clyde Irwin Chorus for Take Me Out to the Ball Field. What a fitting song they're going to provide for us.
Good job, y'all are fantastic. Another round for them. Thank you so much for getting us in the spirit and starting this uh, baseball season off right. Before we hand it over to the Newbridge Middle School, which they're anxious to get out here, thank you guys for being patient. We appreciate it, yeah. I'd just like to thank again all of the, all of the staff and the uh, support um, that we've gotten from the city to be able to put this field out here. It's a beautiful field. We're extremely proud of it. We hope you are too. If you, um, if you want to come out and watch a, a ball game when it's out here, by all means, we would love to fill up these stands and have lots of people out here. So thanks to everybody for your support. We, we, wanna, we appreciate you. And without further ado, we're going to conclude. We have some refreshments and some uh, cookies and, and punch over here. So we'll get out of these guys' way and they're gonna show us how to really play on this field. So we'll do that. Thank you so much.